Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. And today I'm going to have a little tutorial for you on how I made this pretty card here. This card uses one of our new bundles available in the new catalogue that was out on June the 1st called Varied Vases. And it's a lovely stamp set with 34 images loads and loads of images of vases and flowers and the fill-in for the flowers so lots of two-step stamping to go on here um, some lovely borders and some really nice sentiments in really nice fonts as well so loads and loads of scope loads of versatility with this set really really lovely um, and with it comes a punch that you can stamp out to punch out um, three vases one of the tulip flowers and a leaf all at once if you wanted to but really useful to have that option to punch out these vases so we're going to make that card today we're going to make it in a slightly different um, color scheme instead of pumpkin pie base I'm going to start with petal um, not petal pink powder pink okay so this is my card base as normal it measures 21 centimeters by 15 centimeters or um, eight and a quarter inches by six inches and you just score in the middle so either at ten and a half centimeters or at four and an eighth and you can see that I've already embossed the front of my card panel and how I did that was I took our seashore in embossing folder and I just slid it up to the fold in my card and then just popped it down like that popped it through my um, big shot so that I got the embossing just on the front and not on the back of the card. So then we're going to start with a little bit of stamping. So I've got a white panel here which measures 13 centimetres by six centimetres or five inches by two and a quarter inches and the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the stems and to so stamp the stems I'm not using a stamp from the varied vases bunch bundle but actually from the balloon celebration um, set these are meant to be strings of balloons but I think they work really well as far as um, stems for flowers as well so I'm going to stamp this you can see here's my white panel and I'm going to stamp it not too far from the top and it won't matter about the bottom bit because that's going to be cut off but I'm not going to put any ink on there anyway because I don't want it to stamp there we go so I'm going to put this fairly central in my card and a little way down like so I hope there we go got a couple of smudges there but that won't matter because they're going to be covered with flowers so if that does happen don't panic okay now the next thing I need to do oh I still need my green I'm going to stamp my vase onto a little strip of pear pizzazz in pear pizzazz ink I think I forgot to say that this is pear pizzazz ink not one of the new ones one of the older ones and I'm going to stamp my vase upside down at the end of my panel because then I know it's going to fit in my punch really well. So I can pop this away now, I won't need any more pear pizzazz. So, come in with my punch. Oh, I've done it, I've done it the wrong way round. Let's do it again. Oh, I, so, I said I needed to do it upside down, I've done it the wrong way round. Um, let's do it. Needs to be with the, the top of the vase facing the bottom of the card. There we go, because then it will fit nicely in the um, in the punch. I will use that other one, but not just today while I'm on camera. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in there. And I've done it a strip like this, so I don't get too much excess punching in the other bits of card. So that, oh, I'm going to move that a little bit, um, so that I don't waste too much card. So I've got that that um, vase punched out, which might be useful for another card. And then I've just I've got that one left. I'll be able to punch that out another time. So there's my vase. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, and I'm going to put that on with some dimensionals. So here's my sheet of dimensionals. So I'm just going to use a couple of those to mount my vase. Take off the backing really is a very simple little card this but I thought it was quite effective and I loved using the very vases bundle really lovely uh, there we go so let's pop our vase on there 
and then you can see I've stamped happy birthday and again this isn't from the set this isn't from varied vases this is actually from happy birthday gorgeous this happy birthday so I'm going to stamp this in flirty flamingo like so and sorry you might get my head in here because I just need to be over top of it to see where I'm punching where I'm stamping like so there we go there's my happy birthday and while I've got my ink out I'm just going to take a little scrap of um, flirty flamingo card and in flirty flamingo stamp three outline of daffodils and I'm doing them in the corners like this so that again I won't waste too much um, card when I punch them out like so so I'm going to come back in with the punch and you can see I can now slot that in without wasting too much card I can slot that in and punch and punch and you need nine flowers to make this card and I used three different shades of card on my previous one I used daffodil yellow pumpkin pie and Daff daffodil yellow pumpkin pie me mango melody and today I'm using powder pink melon mambo and flirty flamingo and I've already made the um melon mango and oh they've stuck together um and petal their powder pink ones so now i've got the flirty flamingo i just need to put one dimensional on the back of one of the flirty flamingo ones and then i can start sticking them on and you can see some i've stuck flat and some i've stuck um onto the end of the branches so i'm going to stick one flat up here and i'm going to keep the same pattern of color scheme so i'm going to do a little bit of tombow on there will come out there we go nearly stuck it on the wrong card then okay and then I need a, a pale powder pink one to go there oh sorry I'm keep going off camera there we go keep that there I need a dark one of melon mam mambo one there so that's a little way down that that stem there is about there and a uh, um, flirty flamingo one it's going to go round about here and then I'm going to come in with the ones on dimensionals and pop them in and using a range of flat against the card and um, set off set it up from the card makes a real difference to this card I think there we go so let's take my melon mambo one take off the dimensional backing and pop him up there I don't want him to be level with the others I want to add a bit of differentiation with the, the height um, and then another one is going to go actually I'm going to do a powder pink one first let's do the powder pink one Put him on the end of this this one yeah put him on the end of there and then the melon mambo is going to go in that space between like so there we go and then I've got one more to go in the middle here which is Flirty Flamingo, go in there and then I've got a petal pink, powder pink one, <gasps> I've got powder pink and petal pink I keep muddling them up um, to go there, there we go all on there. The last thing I need to do before I can stick all my elements together is to put a little bit of ribbon round the base here and to attach it I'm just going to use a bit of our tear and tape so I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape on either side of where I want the ribbon. So one bit there and then I'm just going to pull the ribbon round and then I don't need to put any glue on the front which might show through the ribbon. 
um, because it's a very fine little piece of ribbon so I don't want to use loads of glue or glue dots or anything so there we go so I'll just take my ribbon place it on my card and just oh it's not much there Let me just got my fingers stuck on the tape just pull that round there and on the other side and then the bow we're going to stick on later with the glue dot. We'll do that later when we finish sticking all the panels together. There we go. So that's the, that's the main element of the card made. We're now going to stick this onto a melon, uh, fl flirty flamingo panel. Again, I'm going to use my Tombow. Doesn't want, want to come out. This is a new. Oh, there we go. Something blocking the tube. I was going to say it doesn't seem to want to come out. It's a new Tombow. This one, and it's taking a bit of time to get it flowing. I'm just going to take a cocktail stick and you see I've got a big blob of glue there which I don't want so I'm just going to take a cocktail stick and stick and smooth that out so that I haven't got a great big blob of glue anywhere because that'll all ooze out and make my card look horrible there we go so my panel is half a centimeter or quarter of an inch smaller than my white panel so the white pa bigger than the white panel sorry so the white panel was 13 by 6 centimeters this panel the pink panel is 13 and a half by 6 and a half centimeters or if you're working in inches a quarter of an inch a big, a bigger than your panel so the panel was five inches by two and a quarter and this is five and a quarter by two and a half and then that one mounts onto this one which again is um, a quarter of half a centimeter or a quarter of an inch bigger. Oh, now I've got a bit of water on there because these are. Let me find a tissue. I'll squeeze some water out there. I have it on a damp sponge, but my sponge is probably a bit wet today. Oh, it really doesn't want to play ball this Tombow today. No, that's not going to work. Okay, I'll choose try another one. I've got another one here, luckily. Let's try another Tombow and see if that will work better. Just doesn't want to work that other one. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like my Tombow, I know. Probably need to stick a pin in the lid of the other one and just get that moving. Okay. So that's there. And then just stick this panel onto our embossed card base like so. You can see we've got a nice different colour scheme this time. Oh, this one's going to start playing up now. Not my day. There we go. That's all my gluing done now, so the Tombow can do whatever it likes now. There we go. What do you think? Are you impressed with this bundle? I think it's really quite sweet. I love this little vase of tulips. Oh, that's not stuck. It will take a little bit of time to stick on here because it's an embossed panel. It needs to cling on to all the raised bits. Just before I go, I'm just going to show you that I just to stick the bow on, I just took a glue dot, stuck it on my ribbon where I wanted it to go, like so, and then just stuck a little ribbon bow that I've already tied on top of the glue dot. And there you have it, two beautiful varied vases cards. I wonder which colour you prefer. I quite like the orange when I made it, but I always seem to prefer the one I made last. I'm actually liking the um, Melon Mambo one at the minute. See what you think. Anyway, that's it from me today. Hope you've enjoyed that project. Obviously, everything that you need to buy to make this project is available from my online shop. Link is down below um, the video. Um, if you want to subscribe, please feel, feel free to do so. My subscriptions are going up slowly but steadily. I'd love to have you and then you'll get a notification every time when I post a new video. So thanks very much. If you haven't already got a catalogue, please let me know. I'll be happy to send you one. I've sent out loads already, but I'll be happy to send out more. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.